My brothers and sisters in Christ, today's readings invite us to reflect on the essence of love. Love is not merely an emotion, it is a choice, a commitment, and a way of life. Our faith teaches us that God is love, and in Him, we find the true source of love. In the first reading, Acts 17 verses 15 and 22, 18 colon 1, we encounter Paul in Athens, a city known for its intellectual pursuits and diverse beliefs. Amidst the idols and philosophies, Paul proclaims the gospel, the message of love incarnate. He speaks of the unknown God whom they unknowingly worship. This God, revealed in Jesus Christ, invites us into a personal relationship, a love story that transcends time and culture. The psalm, Psalm 148 verses 1 to 2, 11 to 14, echoes this theme of praise and love. Praise the Lord from the heavens, it declares. Everything in creation, the sun, moon, stars, mountains, and seas, resounds with praise. Our very existence is an invitation to join this cosmic hymn of love. And then, in the Gospel, John 15 verses 1 to 8, Jesus presents the beautiful metaphor of the vine and branches. He says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. As branches, we draw our life and sustenance from Him. Our purpose is to bear fruit, to love as He loves. But this love is not passive, it requires pruning. The Father prunes away what hinders our growth, allowing us to bear abundant fruit. What does it mean to abide in love? It means to remain connected to Christ, to allow His love to flow through us. When we abide in love, we forgive as Christ forgave. We serve others selflessly. We seek reconciliation and unity. We extend compassion to the broken and marginalized. We recognize that love is sacrificial, laying down our lives for others. As we navigate life's challenges, the storms, the droughts, and the pruning, remember that we are not alone. We are part of the vine, intertwined with Christ and one another. Our love for God and neighbor defines us. It is our identity, our purpose, and our mission. May this reflection inspire us to abide in love, to remain steadfast in our faith, and to bear fruit that glorifies God. Amen. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, we're all about sharing engaging content that you won't want to miss. So, if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like, share, and comment below to support us. Your interaction not only helps our channel grow but also tells us what content you love to see. Thanks for stopping by and we hope you subscribe and join our community. God bless you always.